So it's like that. That's education. It's it's like it's like a university. Somebody did a project and he, the project was localized, right? It was in Lagos State, for example. Right? Then you are not going to do a project and and you're taking that project to Nigeria. Alright? And we say, okay, wow, that's cool. It's deeper. Do you understand? So whatever knowledge is available, you can expand it. Okay, you can give more detailed information. Alright? And you don't need to pack up everything once. So you're talking about uh, cake and skin, for example. If you look at it and it's large, you can break it up for a week. Right? There was a brand we were managing and um, during the elections, we were writing things what they expected of governors, uh, as for assembly, uh, the president, and all of that. We're long. Those things were long. Right? And we spread them into days. I think they almost went like weeks or something. Okay? Now, why is this important? People don't read for so long. So if you just read, you're just, oh, tired. They'll read it, oh, this guy. So just give them. Bite size, bite size, you know, little, little bits for them to just read, you know, assimilate and move on, something to run with. Do you understand? It's important that you understand all of this. Okay, it's important that you understand all of this. So, you can get inspired by looking at your competition. You can get inspired by looking at the topic that you're an expert in, that you, the topic you want to work on, and, you know, probably putting it on Google and seeing the different topics that come up. You can get inspired by asking your audience, right? What do you want to know? All right? You can get inspired by answering, probably looking at your FAQs, frequently asked questions. What are the questions that your customers usually ask? How can you deal with them? You can get inspired from all those things. Okay? You can look at your uh, explore page, you know, Instagram explore page, and you can see several things there that could inspire you or point you in a particular direction. Okay? I never have a problem of content because. The content for today, we probably would have was created maybe two weeks or two months or two years ago, right? I have content right now that I'm going to post next year. Okay, why? Because I I go around and I'm seeing things and I'm writing down everything I'm seeing. Right? Anything that strikes me, I write it down. Why? It's important. That is what will form content for later on. So a friend of mine posted something one day. He, he broke his kunkolo. Um, his name is the fixer, right? So he broke his kunkolo and brought out the money that he has been saving in it. When I said, I was like, wow, I'm going to save this picture. I was like, what are you saving it for? I said, content will come for this picture. Do you understand? That's the way I work. Just pick it, save it. There's no stupid content. Pick it, save it. All right, upload it somewhere, leave it there one day. The content for it will come. Okay, and this there is this craze. You take a picture today, you must go today. If it's not a live event, if it's not something that is live as part, something is happening, you want to, there's no need for you to go today. Do you understand? There's no need for you to go today. If you get that content, you can sit down, arrange it, plan it. All right, the content will be just images or just a video. The write up for it, you could see it later on somewhere. Or oh, the write up, you probably would have had it somewhere before. You just saved it, you just pull everything together. Right? You guys just have to understand how to think like this. It's it's everywhere. Content is everywhere. Alright? Your images, your video, it's everywhere. Right?